Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Taylor and I'm a teacher in Central California. But today's video is totally different because we got a house. So I'm gonna give you a house tour, show you my crib. Let's go. Okay, so real quick, to the right we have our closet, laundry room, bathroom, and I'll show you that in a second. And then over here we have all three bedrooms and the best mirror ever. So I'm gonna walk you through this main area, show you the backyard, my favorite spot. Then I'll come back and show you this side of the house because let's be real, I spend most of my time up this way. Okay. Okay, so right when you walk in, office. Dining room. Then my favorite room, the sunroom, which I want to make like a little library slash mini quick workout room. Let's back it up, back it up. Then we have our living room. I love the high ceilings. And it is a rental and it actually came with the TV and that white stand. So that made it super easy. And then we have our kitchen. I love how big and bright it is. The cabinets are loud as heck, especially with the wood floors, but not all of them. Okay, and then this is my favorite part of the house because we got a pool and a little gas fire pit and it's just, huh, yes, this is what I wanted in a house. It's granted, it is a rental, which I'll give you more information about, but this is to test kind of how much we actually use the pool. Is that something we want in our forever home? The gas fire pit, that was a surprise, but is that something we want in our forever home? So, this is my favorite spot. I come out here and just drink my coffee. Hang out outside, get some sunlight up on D, and we have pretty awesome sunsets too. So I'm gonna stand on my little, stand on my fire pit. We have the orchards. So you do hear a lot of the cars, especially with this camera, because it picks up noise like crazy, but that's the main road. And I'm, I'm cool with that, I grew up kind of main road next to an orchard so this feels like home for me so also we have a pretty pretty decent yard so perfect for pupperoos and I love big dogs so now I won't feel bad if I get a big let's say Pyrenees dog because it has plenty of room to roam and we also have this other side yard as well and then I'm thinking barbecue because the fire alarms go off like crazy in this house or standing guard that's my thoughts and yeah okay let me continue showing you the house
Okay, so a little bit about the house. We are renting, so hoping, fingers crossed, rent to buy. I guess the original owners moved out of state like four months ago or something like that. So we're hoping by the end of the year or maybe two, they'll wanna sell it and we can buy it. So that is the dream. <laughs> but also we decided we wanted to rent to kind of learn what it's like to actually own a house before we go and spend a bunch of money on one. Also bear with me, it echoes a lot in here because the wood floor is high. We, got, we gotta fill this place up a little bit. So I'll try and talk quietly for once. <laughs> okay, so a little bit about our house journey. Originally, we were going to look to buy our forever home. We were looking in very nice neighborhoods and it was going well, but we didn't really feel that heart tug towards a house and we don't need to buy a house. I'm not going to rush to buy one just because I want one. I'd rather wait for that little warm, fuzzy feeling of like, this is my home and then buy it. <laughs> but also we've only lived in apartments. So a lot of things changed rent changes or mortgage in that sense. But then also just bills like electricity, gas, water is totally different with the house than it is for an apartment. So we want to kind of see how our budget actually works with a house rather than an apartment. So this is a bigger house. Also big learning point, the pool and the gas fire pit. Will we actually use a pool if we have one? Will we actually use the gas fire pit if we have one? Because that changes everything. Because here in California, it is near impossible to find new houses with pools unless you build it. And the money you're putting in that pool, you will never get back. So you have a way better chance to buy a used home that has a pool and then just hope that it's fixed up or you can fix it up, one of those things. Again, the yard. New houses, yards are tiny. And I was raised on like half an acre. My boyfriend was raised on lots of acres. So we like land. <laughs> Another learning aspect for us was which side of town we want to be on. We are in Bakersfield, California, which is one of the only places in California that pays teachers relatively well and the cost of living is pretty low. So that's kind of how our situation works. I am paying rent for the house and my boyfriend is paying everything else. So that's our dynamic. This house is $2,800 a month. I know a lot, but the cost of the pool guy and the landscaping is included in that rent. Actually, it's funny because if you live in Central California, you're like, oh my God, that's a lot. And if you live pretty much anywhere else, it's like, oh my gosh, you get that much house for that much money. Like it seems like wherever you are at right now, depends on your reaction. Whether it's whoa or whoa. So let me know where you're at. <laughs> also again, trying to see if this is something that we are comfortable paying every month. Should we do more? Should we do less? Realistically in the whole scheme of buying a house and life. So this is a learning experience above all else. Another big thing is that we want to get out of debt before we buy a house and not really, we're both not really big debt people, like not credit cards and stuff, but we have two cars and my student loans. So we're working to pay off at least two out of the three of those while we're renting here for the next year, realistically probably two. And then that way we can go into a house debt free or pretty close to debt free. That's the goal. Okay, now specifics about this house itself. Like I said, the rent is 2,800 bucks a month, I know. The house is about 2,800 square feet. Let me double, let me double check that. Zillow. Yes, so this house is about 2,862 square feet. It is a four bedroom, two and a half bath. And Zestimate ranges at 423,000. So that's what we're looking at. Again, the three bedrooms right now is not really, a, we're not gonna use it that much, especially with the three rooms that are the office, dining room, and that sunroom that I love. So those three bedrooms are pretty much a guest bedroom, of course, and then a storage room because I got a lot of shit. And then the other one, probably just keep empty or turn it into a workout room. I don't know, but me and my boyfriend, we like open spaces. So that's where that long haul of those rooms really work for us and we're most likely not going to use the three bedrooms for now. But that's where if we can rent to own, hopefully, that would be amazing because we're gonna have kids in the next five years. We're gonna need those bedrooms. <laughs> so that is our overall plan. Um, things that I've learned about this house. Oh, the doors, I gotta show you the doors. So this is our closet door. Yeah. And this is our bathroom door. Yep. So pretty much the doors are switched. So we'll have to switch those back. That's another fun thing about this. I almost want to keep it because I think it's funny. And like makes it its own unique little weird thing, but that's just me. 
Okay. Also, our garage right now has a mind of its own. It decides to open and shut. And if you would like to witness that in real time, go check out my last vlog, because as I'm trying to leave the house for work, my garage is trying to trap me in, so I won't go. That was fun. Um, I disconnected it, so now it's just not working at all. And maintenance is supposed to come and fix it. But for a while, it was fun. That thing was going crazy up and down, like 2 a.m., just it was a whole ordeal. Another fun thing, our fire alarms like to go off with zero, zero smoke. Like our first dinner we cooked in the house, there was like the smoke of a lit candle and it went off and it would not stop. I'm not joking, it went on for 30 minutes. My boyfriend had to go to his work, grab a big ladder just to take the batteries out of that thing. But other than that, everything has been wonderful. Definitely a house that we are going to grow into and I cannot wait for that to fill up these rooms. So this was more of a beginner, pretty much empty house tour. But the next one I'll show you is when we have all the rooms fully furnished so you can fully see our office and whatever I decided to do with the sunroom and our dining room. So that is pretty much all that I have for you guys. Thank you for coming to my home, my crib, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Okay, bye.